Hi. So I just got a new computer. It's a uh, Hewlett and Packard G4 Pavilion, and uh, it's a it's a laptop. I I always buy laptops uh, just because I like you know to buy it like something that is all complete. Like right out of the box. If you buy a tower, then you gotta buy a keyboard. Or, you know, unless you you buy something that that is that also just comes in a package. But they're less portable and they're bulky and a pain in the ass to carry. Um, what pisses me off about laptops is they usually have a touchpad. And they have a touchpad in you know closest to you, you know, like as you as you're looking at the keyboard, the the first device in the keyboard is the touchpad, and like fucking manufacturers, you fucking stupid asses, put the fucking touchpad at the top, put the keyboard closest to to the the user, I mean, if you need any space, like, you could put some venting there, like, I, I, like looking at my computer, and my other computer also, my old computer also had that, there were vent holes, well, you could put that down at the bottom, instead of something that is gonna move the cursor as you are fucking typing, because your wrists or your sleeves uh, are going to possibly touch that touchpad and send the fucking cursor flying off the fucking screen so don't fucking do that you fucking idiots but like I was like looking online like because this fucking computer doesn't even come with like a like a full manual like my old computer, and, and my old computer, even the manual didn't even like say how to do this. I had to like open the the uh, you know like the drivers for. I had to look around for quite a while, and then I, I looked online and I found out how to fucking do it. How to fucking uh, make the thing so that when you have one of these a fucking wireless mouse you don't have to you know you you have the fucking uh, you know it's a, once you put the, the the USB driver in there the USB fucking device in, in the you know in the USB port it turns off the the touchpad so I, I, I it, it took me a while to fucking figure out how to do it and then on this other computer it was a fucking pain in the ass to fucking figure it out I kept trying to do it and I couldn't do it and so I looked online how to do it because this fucking computer doesn't even have a fucking manual really um, so I kept looking on the help pages for both Hewlett and Packard, which makes the computer itself, and also the manufacturer, which I don't even remember what what it's called, but uh, the manufacturer also had help pages on that, and like all they tell me, all they told me was fucking uninstall the driver well you can't uninstall the fucking driver on this fucking computer you you can go to the control panel and it'll give you the option to uninstall the fucking driver but you cannot do it once you it will tell you to uninstall the driver and then, then I think it just tells you to reset the computer and the driver is still fucking there. So this computer, the, the touchpad is actually a little bit different from my old computer. 
it has a little dimple on the upper left corner. That's how you fucking turn off the touchpad. You just tap it three times. It's fucking stupid. And I think, I'm not sure how I actually got it to show me the little pop-up window that tells you, ah, you know, you can have the touchpad be off when you actually have a, a USB pointing device such as a wireless mouse, which is what I fucking use. So, but I think it, you just tap that, that same dimple a whole bunch of times and I think that's what gives you the option to do that. Fucking piss me off because like yeah I mean you could put that in your fucking support pages fucking Hewlett Packard and whatever the fuck the, the manufacturer of the actual touchpad is fucking assholes and put the fucking touchpad at the top not at the, not where your fucking wrists go when you're typing you fucking idiots